This is a 2005 Toyota Sienna XLE Limited. We're having an issue where you could put down, like all the other windows would work, but the passenger side window, and note that this is on, the passenger side window would not work with this master switch at all. And the this one would kind of work intermittently at first, but then it just stopped working altogether. So to so for like a temporary fix before you have like a replacement if you want to use this window. So you want to remove there's there will be a Phillips head screw right here. And you'll just unscrew that and then probably use a pry bar or something to pry this off because it's on pretty tight when you haven't messed with it before. And so I just I've already done that, so it's not I didn't have it clipped in. Then you have this little connector here. And basically this white tab right here, you want to press that in while pulling out on this connector and kind of wiggling it back and forth. Because it's pretty stubborn, which I will have to put this down to get it out because it's that stubborn. But it, it requires two hands. Well, this time it came out easily, but I've messed with it a few times. So this is the connector. And um, so you can, you can remove this switch if you want. If you want to replace it, you can just push on, push in on these two tabs in here and then like ha have them both pressed down at a time and then pull out the switch. It's not that hard. Um, but you'll want to bypass, so I have it kind of right here. So you can see those are the ones you'll want to bypass. But um, so the blue to the black with white and then the red or sorry, um, green to the black with white and the red to the um, red with blue. And I have a, a little jumper right here. And you want to just kind of stick it in there. You just do this. It's a little weird. It kind of requires a bit of finesse to do this, but um, so you basically stick it in there. Depending on the thickness of the wire you have, you might want to put it like in this bottom part or in this top one for thinner wire. Um, but you bypass so this, and then I'll get the other one. And place it in there basically the same way. So then you have it like this, where there's where this one is open right here. And then these two are bridged, and then these two are bridged. And you can you can just leave the switch here if you want. You may want to put something that says like disconnected or whatever. Um, I will just kind of stow this away. You might not want to do this if you're particularly concerned, but um, I'll just I'm just gonna stow that away. So then it has this tab right here that you just have to slide it in first there. Then you can just kind of. And then you would reinstall the screw, which there would be a cover here, but that's broken off and it's been missing for a while. You just screw back, screw that Phillips head screw back in there and it would be, you know, make, just make sure that it's like tight there. It's not loose. And then, so, so what you want to do is, so turn the card on. You don't have to have the engine on, but, um, so then, if you have it to on, you'll notice right, the battery's a bit low, but it will actually like work. So that's so that's how you kind of bypass the window switch on a 2005 Toyota Sienna Excel Limited. Not sure if it differs based on like the trim level. It might be the same, but, um, and so yeah, now you won't be, you still won't be able to control it from here, but you will be able to control it from the master switch on this side. And so that's a good temporary fix for if you just need, just need it to work for a little while until you can get a replacement, which is 
basically my situation. And that's basically all there is to say. It's not that hard. So that's the end of this video. I hope you subscribe to my channel since I...